ever sat in the bath too long, looked at your pruny fingers and thought, what the what? Yeah, turns out there's a reason we get wrinkly. Hey guys, a non-waterlogged Amy with you on DNews today. Before we talk about wrinkly fingers, we gotta talk about what covers them, skin. Our skin has three layers, subcutaneous tissue on the bottom, the dermis in the middle, and the epidermis on the outside. The epidermis in turn has four layers, but it's the outermost one called the stratum corneum that we're most interested in. This is the surface we can see and feel, and it's made of dead cells and a protein called keratin that together form a thick protective layer around all your body's important things like muscles, organs, and bones. And because our hands and feet take the most wear and tear doing things like walking and using tools, at least way back in the day, the skin there is the thickest. And you've probably noticed that that's also the skin that prunes, but the reason might not be what you think. The common misconception is that the dead keratin cells absorb water, swelling, and size, which in turn forces the skin to wrinkle and fold because the bones and tissue underneath haven't changed size. But scientists have known since the 1930s that feet and hands don't always prune if someone has nerve damage. There's clearly something more going on here. It turns out that skin wrinkling is an active function controlled by the sympathetic nervous system, the one that controls other involuntary fight or flight functions like quickening breathing and slowing digestion. And that system is connected to sweat glands that cover, among other areas, your palms and the soles of your feet. A study published in Muscle and Nerve magazine suggests that when our hands are in a wet environment, water can move up the tiny sweat duct into the skin to reach the gland. The body responds by reducing blood flow, particularly in the vessels in the fingers. This reduces their volume, causing them to shrink inwards, further facilitating the wrinkling we see. This is a way more involved process, and since it relies on the nervous system, that means there's likely some evolutionary reason for this trait. We aren't exactly an amphibious species, but wrinkly fingers could have benefited our ancestors digging and working in wet environments. In 2011, a team of researchers started studying the active process of skin wrinkling. They noticed the folded skin creates a really great drainage system to get water off the fingertips. So they ran a test to see if this would improve grip. A second study in 2013 took the test further. A team had participants pick up wet and dry objects, including marbles, with dry hands, then repeat the experiment with hands that had been soaking in warm water for 30 minutes. Across the board, participants were able to pick up wet objects faster with wrinkly fingers, suggesting the trait is designed to give us better grip. Participants were then asked to move submerged objects with and without pre-soaked hands, so with or without wrinkled fingers. The team found, again, that wrinkled fingers significantly improved grip in most of the participants. So there's support for the idea of wrinkled when wet fingers being an evolutionarily acquired trait, especially since it's controlled by the nervous system. But it's a case of our favorite saying here at DNews, more research is needed. The two studies that have really dived into this use small participant groups and results weren't totally consistent across the board. There's work to be done to really understand how and why we get pruny in the bath. Next time you're in the bath waiting for your hands to prune, consider binging on some TV. There's so many great shows to pick from on Discovery Go, including one of my favorites, When We Left Earth. So check that out, there's a link below. But wrinkled or not, toes are kind of weird looking, am I right? If you want to know why, Julia's got more info in this video right here. Toes likely evolved from the same bones that became fins, wings, or hooves in other species. The dominating scientific theories are that fingers and toes are exclusive features of tetrapods, or vertebrates with limbs. But according to one study, toes may have evolved even before our fishy ancestors left the ocean. To be honest, pruny fingers kind of freak me out. Anyone else with me? Let us know your thoughts on wrinkled appendages in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you never miss an episode of DNews.